In this video, we will discuss three ways to manipulate equilibrium constant expressions. The first method is if we run the reaction in reverse. The second technique is if we multiply the chemical reaction by a number. The third way is if we add two different reactions together. What happens to the equilibrium constant expression if we run a reaction in reverse? For a generic reaction equation, such as A, A gas, plus B, B gas, an equilibrium with C, C gas, plus D, D gas. Kc will equal the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients in the balanced equation divided by the concentration of the reactant raised to their coefficients in the balanced equation. Therefore, Kc will equal the concentration of C raised to the power of C times the concentration of D raised to the power of D divided by the concentration of A raised to the power of A times the concentration of B raised to the power of B. If we reverse the reaction direction and have C, C gas, plus D, D gas, in equilibrium A, A gas, plus B, B gas, Kc will then equal the concentration of A raised to the power of A times the concentration of B raised to the power of B divided by the concentration of C raised to the power of C times the concentration of D raised to the power of D. If we compare the Kc expressions for these two different reactions, we notice that they are reciprocals of each other. Therefore, K forward equals one over K reverse for all equilibrium reactions. What happens to the equilibrium constant expression if we multiply the chemical reaction by a number? For this chemical reaction, two NO2 gas in equilibrium with N2O4 gas at a certain temperature in which Kc equals the concentration of N2O4 divided by the concentration of NO2 squared. If we were to multiply the chemical reaction by half, then we would have NO2 gas is in equilibrium with half N2O4 gas. Our Kc expression for this new reaction looks like the concentration of N2O4 raised to the half power divided by the concentration of NO2. If we compare the K expressions for the same reaction, we find that the original K expression equals the square root of the new K expression. If we take the original reaction equation and multiply by two, we have four NO2 gas in equilibrium with two N2O4 gas. Then our equilibrium constant expression looks like the concentration of N2O4 squared divided by the concentration of NO2 raised to the fourth power. In this case, it is the original K expression squared. We can say that if we multiply a reaction equation by a number N, then the equilibrium constant expression is raised to that power N. Now, it might seem strange that the same equation at the same temperature can have different values of equilibrium constant. But this, this is only a mathematical difference it will not affect the composition of the reaction mixture at equilibrium. It is not a chemical difference. What happens to the equilibrium constant expression when we add two different reactions together? For example, reaction one, CL gas plus O3 gas in equilibrium with ClO gas plus O2 gas and reaction two, ClO gas plus O gas in equilibrium with Cl gas plus O2 gas. Now, if you add these reactions together, the Cl gas will cancel because it is on the reactants in the first equation and the products in the second equation. The ClO gas will also cancel because it is in the products in the first reaction and in the reactants in the second reaction. You'll be left with this equation, O3 gas plus O gas in equilibrium with 2O2 gas. The equilibrium constant for the overall reaction is the concentration of O2 squared divided by the concentration of O3 times the concentration of O. We can derive this equilibrium constant expression from the reactions one and two equilibrium constant expressions. Reaction one's equilibrium constant expression will be the concentration of ClO times the concentration of O2 
divided by the concentration of Cl times the concentration of O3. Reaction 2's equilibrium constant expression will be the concentration of Cl times the concentration of O2 divided by the concentration of ClO times the concentration of O. Now if we multiply reaction 1's k expression by reaction 2's k expression we find that the ClO will cancel out because it's on the top of one and the bottom of another. Also, the Cl will cancel because it is on the bottom of one and the top of two. And what we'll be left with will be the concentration of O2 times the concentration of O2 divided by the concentration of O3 times the concentration of O. This equals our overall equilibrium constant expression. The concentration of O2 squared divided by the concentration of O3 times the concentration of O. This approach works for all series of reactions, and as a general rule, k overall equals k to the first times k to the second times k to the third times all the way to the k to the nth degree, depending on how many reactions you have in your overall equation. Now, let's work on problems using the concepts discussed in this video. Problem one, given the following equilibria at 450.0 Kelvin, N2O4 gas plus Cl2 gas in equilibrium with two NOCl gas plus O2 gas, Kc equals 9.94 times 10 to the negative third power. What is the value of Kc for the following reactions? A, 4 N2O4 gas plus 4 Cl2 gas in equilibrium with 8 NOCl gas plus 4 O2 gas. B, 2 NOCl gas plus O2 gas in equilibrium with N2O4 gas plus Cl2 gas. C, 4 NOCl gas plus 2 O2 gas in equilibrium with 2 N2O4 gas plus 2 Cl2 gas. To complete part A, compare the reaction equations and you will see that the reaction equation in part A is the same as the reaction equation in the question just multiplied by 4. According to our rules, all you need to do is raise the k expressions to the fourth power and therefore raise the k value to the fourth power. So we have our Kc value for 4 N2O4 gas plus 4 Cl2 gas in equilibrium with 8 NOCl gas plus 4 O2 gas will be equal to the 9.94 times 10 to the negative third power raised to the fourth power, which equals 9.76 times 10 to the negative ninth power. To solve for part B, compare the reaction equations and you'll see that the reaction equation in part B is the reverse as the reaction equation in the question. Now, according to our rules, we will need to take the reciprocal of the k expression and hence the reciprocal of the k value as well. So our kc value for two NOCl gas plus O2 gas in equilibrium with N2O4 gas plus Cl2 gas is equal to one over 9.94 times 10 to the negative third power, which equals 101. To solve part C, we can do this a couple of ways. If we compare the reaction equation in part C to the reaction equation in the problem, what we find is that it is the reverse two times this equation. So we can square the reciprocal of the k value for the original reaction equation. Or if we compare the reaction equation in part C to the reaction equation in part B, we see that it is two times the reaction equation. So we can square the value of the equilibrium constant for our answer to part B. We find our Kc value of 4 NOCl gas plus 2O2 gas in equilibrium with 2 N2O4 gas plus 2 Cl2 gas equals the same value either way. 1.01 times 10 to the fourth power. Question 2. Given the following equilibria at 373.15 Kelvin, N2O4 gas in equilibrium with 2 NO2 gas, Kp equals 0 0.213 and 2 NO2 gas, 
in equilibrium with 2 NO gas plus O2 gas, Kp equals 0 0.981. What is the value of Kp for the reaction 2 NO gas plus O2 gas in equilibrium with N2O4 gas? So to find the value of the equilibrium constant for the overall reaction, let's add the two other equations together and see what will cancel out. The 2NO2 gas will cancel out because it is on the product of the first reaction and the reactants of the second reaction. We are left with N2O4 gas in equilibrium with 2NO gas plus O2 gas. And our Kp value for this reaction will be 0 0.213 times 0 0.981, which equals 0 0.209. In a way, this reaction looks like the reaction we are asked to find the Kp value for, except that it is a reverse. To find the equilibrium constant of this reaction, take the reciprocal of the equilibrium constant value we calculated. It is 1 over 0 0.209, which equals 4.78, and our Kp value.